Hey guys, we are back today talking a little bit more about angles. We are actually going to be measuring angles today, but rather than use a protractor, which you can do, and which I'm gonna show you at the end, we're just gonna use our detective skills to figure out the measurements for some angles. And I'm gonna show you how that is going to work. You actually have enough information to do this already. So I want you to look at this for a second. If this was my unknown right here, I want you to kind of think about how you could figure that out just with what you already know about angles. So, as you might remember, a straight angle, which is this straight line right here, this whole thing is 180 degrees. Since you know that, and we know that this is 140 degrees, we could easily figure out this missing part right here by thinking of it as 140 plus what equals 180? Because we know that this whole thing has to be 180. This is 140, so what's missing? Okay, the other way we could think about that is 180, which we know is our total, minus our known angle of 140 equals what? And we'll get the same answer either way we look at it. So I know that 140 plus 40 more would give me 180. And let's check this here, if that also makes sense here, that would make this a 40 degree angle. Now I need to think about if that makes sense, okay? So I also know, get another color in here, that 90 degrees is about here, right? So this would be about 90. So does it make sense that 40 would be a little bit less than half and would fall right there at 90? Does that also make sense? It does. So by knowing about my straight angles and my right angles, I can use that information to find out my unknown angles. Okay, so we're gonna do another one sort of similar to that. This time I'm gonna give you your right angle. Okay, so here's my 90 degree angle. Remember this little square here represents a right angle or 90 degrees. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you so this is a 20 degree angle, and I'm gonna ask you to figure out this unknown part over here. So just think about that for a second. My total is 90, then my subtraction could be my total minus my known would equal my unknown. So my total, minus my known is gonna give me my unknown. So here I am, 90 minus 20 is 70. So that would tell me that this part of the angle right here is 70 degrees. Now, the other way and the last way that we're going to look at it is we're going to remember the angle of a circle that goes all the way around. So if I have, let's remember the terminology for this perpendicular. Remember if I go all the way around in a circle, I have 90 times four because I have four 90 degree angles, which is 360. So a circle will always be 360 degrees all the way around which means that no matter where you are in a circle, whatever you know or don't know, you can always add that up to 360. So even if I took some of these lines away, I would know that this is 90 degrees. I would know that this is 90 degrees. And if I asked you to figure this out, you'd be able to do that because you know that 360 is your total also know that a straight line without doing any math at all is 180. So that's how we can put our puzzle pieces together to measure angles without having a protractor at all. Now, if we were at school, I would be putting a protractor in your hands and we would be practicing with that protractor. Sadly, we are not in school. So I'm just gonna do a little test here with my protractor. I'm gonna hopefully make this big enough so that you can see it. When I place my protractor, and if you 
happen to have a protractor at home and you want to try this with some angles that you just draw on a piece of paper, that would be awesome. But I don't necessarily expect that a protractor is a tool that everybody has laying around. So I'm just going to show you how to set it up with a protractor though, so that you've seen it. Okay. This little middle part of the protractor, some protractors actually have a little hole there. Sometimes there's this little like, cross hatch there. And we're going to always put that on our vertex. Okay, so we're going to center on our vertex. That's always, always, always going to be first. The next thing I'm going to check is that the bottom line is lined up. So my bottom line, I'm going to check. So let me show you what that looks like. I have my hole and my little kind of crosshairs there. That's gonna go on my vertex. And then I have a line going across the bottom of my protractor and that's going to represent this bottom line check. Then I'm going to measure. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now because it's a little bit too small for you to see. My protractor right here has two numbers. It has 40 and it has 140. Okay, so let's think about that for a second. Whoop, I smudged there a little bit. Decide which measurement to take. So I need to decide which measurement to take. Am I taking my 140 or am I taking my 40? Why is it telling me both? Well, the protractor is not sure if you're measuring an obtuse angle or an acute angle. So the protractor is telling you, well, if it's obtuse, it's 140. And if it's acute, it's 40. And we know that this is an acute angle because here's my 90 and an acute angle is less than 90. So I'm going to take my 40 degree measurement. And again, if you use your detective skills to estimate that this is 90 and that this is here, a 40 degree angle makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna do one more. Now, if I have an obtuse angle, here's my vertex, center on vertex, here I am, bottom line check. I'm gonna straighten that out a little bit to make sure. And then I'm going to look over here, and this is giving me either 50 or 130. Those are the two numbers that are on top of each other. So now I need to decide, and I'm going to come a little closer, see if you can see it. See how there's two numbers there? So now I need to decide which do I take, the 50 or the 130. Is this acute or obtuse? It is obtuse. So I would definitely take the 130 degree measurement here. And again, to check for accuracy and to check for mathematical sense, I can always envision my 90 and say, yep, that's bigger than 90, 100, 110, 120, 130 makes sense. Here would be 180 over here, right? Straight angle. So you can absolutely use a protractor for best accuracy, but as long as you're given enough information, you can certainly find out measurements other ways. So go on into the Google Forms now, see how you do. And if you have any questions, come and see me. Have a great day, guys.